Meridian, the first interstellar colonization ship sent from Earth to Tau Ceti. A giant ark filled with the best that humanity could offer. Most of the colonists were put in cryogenic hibernation. Only a handful stood watch and continued with the scientific research. Free from the constraints imposed on research on Earth, they developed many wonderful technologies. They even conquered death itself. They learned how to create life and turn themselves into monsters. The reign of terror and mad science on board the ship ended when one brave soldier, himself a part of another mad experiment, managed to break free and kill Professor Wagner. In a just universe, that soldier would be a hero. But we're not living in a just universe.
Object recorded. No orders found. Drone returning to main duties. Sorry, it wasn't powered, so I missed it. Luckily, it doesn't have any orders concerning you, so it let you go. I'm sorry for the complication, but there was no other way. You let these officers out? All local soldiers are coming for us right now. We have to find a way to keep them busy. So I'm sure it's like a containment system and let those monstrosities out. We'll deal with them later. Now move to the generator. I know. Follow me. How about thanking me for setting you free, Princess? Thanks for letting me out. No kiss? We're not safe here, so I suggest we get the hell out of here. should be safe here for now. The soldiers are sure that this part of the ship is empty. Why were you locked? 
locked in there. We'll talk about that later. Now I have to check you. What? You're Gunner Davis, one of the best prototypes that came out of Meridian Research. You've got both physical and mental modifications and improvements. You're a super soldier. But according to your file, there's something wrong. You're dying. I'm dying? It's a slow but visible process. Your neural network is overloaded. You have more functions than your brain can handle. I feel good. Right now, yes. But we have to do something about it. Your file says they've deactivated most of your functions. Look. I'll try to unlock one of the basic ones. Pick one. Your mental capacity should improve in time. I'll be checking you regularly. When your mental level improves, I can activate some of your abilities. You're more or less stable for now. Everything all right? Somebody like you. Another experiment. But we don't have time for this now. I'll tell you all about me later. But I suggest we concentrate on our survival for now. So, what happened? My last memory is of killing that asshole Wagner. And with his death, everything changed. Some of the automated system responses that he was blocking were activated. The core of the response military unit was awakened. They contacted the Earth and started to put everything in order meant extermination of everything that Wagner had made, including us. They sent a unit to capture you at once. You must have lost your short-term memory when they used paralyzers on you. Why do they want to exterminate us? Because we are the research subjects, and new orders concerning the subjects are exterminate or secure in cryostasis for later assessment. And even if the later assessment didn't mean death for you, Removal of all your augmentation would turn you into a blind and possibly mad cripple. If you don't believe me, you can read the orders they have. I've mailed them to your reader. What now? We can't hope to survive against the crew on our own. So I suggest we find some help. I managed to find the location of Minikin's cryo chamber. You have to find him. Who's this Minikin? Michael Steele, a.k.a. Minikin. He used to be the chief engineer of the ESS Meridian. We need him. With his technical skills, we have a chance to survive. And I'm sure he'll be willing to help us. So, what am I supposed to do? There's a human storage area in the ship. You'll have to get in there. Human storage? It's a huge area filled with hundreds of crew members stored in hibernation chambers. Minikin's frozen there. You have to wake him up and bring him here.